guys, welcome back to the channel. This is How Fast. Uh, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Justin. Uh, today we're going to be working on the chassis some more. Uh, we've already spoke about a couple of the things that we're going to be doing, but um, you know we've cut out that X brace in the last episode, and we've cleared out the space for the second seat. So I'm going to go in and start mapping out where that uh, where that additional brace is going to be, and start laying out templates, uh, cardboard templates for the floor. So uh, I'm probably going to get started on that right now. And I wanted to remind you guys, you know, if you haven't got one of our T-shirts, we actually just sold out of the last one of the first uh, orders. So uh, if you guys get an opportunity and you do want to get some, hit us up at howfast10 at gmail.com or get us on Instagram at how underscore underscore fast. So uh, I'm going to jump on this right now. You guys stay tuned. Okay, so we'll get the string line in here. Not exactly where I had planned it to be. Uh, I kind of expected it to be over a little bit more, but if you actually, if you look at the transmission tunnel on this, it's very uh, asymmetrical in that it kind of dives down on this side, uh, which means that that rail is actually quite a bit further over than where this is. So um, what it means is that we're likely gonna have to, that is to the inside, so that's where that's gonna start. We're gonna have to remove that portion right here of this, this tube and cut this back, weld it there, cut that back, weld it there, and then tie it in back here. That'll give us lots of room for our drive shaft and the loops through the transmission tunnel. So um, I'm gonna start pulling some measurements off this right now, and then uh, we'll start uh, jotting it down so we can make up some templates. Okay guys, so I got underneath the car and I took a look at that, that tube that's down there. It's it's two by three. I don't know what the wall thickness is, but I figure if I go quarter wall, it'll be definitely strong enough and, and there's nothing wrong with going a little stronger. I'm sure the extra weight will be minimal. Uh, rough sizes, we'll have to buy it at a length and then we'll have to cut it to size to make it fit. Um, for the floor pan, I've got a, a layout here for this and for the transmission tunnel. I was gonna start doing the foot well, but I figured I'm gonna put this in first and then kind of measure off that and see how far I get. So right now I'm gonna take these dimensions, I'm gonna transfer them onto that cardboard, and then we're gonna put them in that car. Okay, so I uh, creased some of these, put a bend on all the edges where I think it should be bent, uh, added a little extra meat on all those dimensions. Now we're going to go and see how far off I was from getting this thing into the car here. So let's take a look. Not far off at all, really. I mean, bad for a first shot, to be honest. It turned out better than I expected. This seems to be following that that line pretty well. Double check that from the other side. Yeah, that looks like it's following that, that rail pretty well. It's good. So uh, I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, maybe a little bit of tweaking after we get some of the other parts in, but uh, first things first, let's... Uh, Let's see about that transmission tunnel. Well, I have the second piece in for the transmission tunnel. Not as good of a fit as the first one, but definitely workable. Um, so that uh, tunnel's sinking down a bit on this side because there's absolutely no support underneath it. So this will help like suck it up and hold it up. And uh, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more uh, material in here. And geez, I'd say that piece is just about done. And then I'll move on to this hole in the back. And then finally the footwell. Well, I've mocked up uh, pretty much all these panels. You can see, I mean, these are just the rough, the rough templates. I'm probably gonna, you know, refine these one more time. But at least I have, you know, some a basis to go off of here for sizing, and you know, I'll make sure to make the lines a little more crisp and the the dimensions a little bit more clear, so that uh, when I get these bent up, 
it'll be easy. You can see right here, I, I still like I need to add like an inch and a half here so that we can tie it into the rail or however that's gonna happen. And down here, we had to wrap around some of the suspension components, but, and I might actually add another inch and a half or two inches to this to get into some of the good metal. But that's the basis of it right there. It's pretty close. So, um, yeah. Yeah, so anyway, all right, uh, I'm gonna pull these out and I'm gonna try something else. So Derek and I have been uh, talking about, you know, wire brushing the whole thing or sandblasting the chassis. Um, so I've got the wire brush out here and I think, you know, what we're gonna do is we're just, I, what I'm gonna do is just hit this all up with the wire brush and see, see how the surface rust comes off. Uh, it'd be nice to put a nice coat of black on some of this, uh, just start kind of cleaning it up a bit. Um, there are parts of the car here that we notice, you know, as I'm looking at some of this here has been modified since it was originally built. I mean, there was obviously something here and it's here now and, and this weld is missing halfway around. So a little janky, um, this one's done right, but you know, we're gonna have to leave that. So anywhere I come across that, I'm just gonna leave the paint off that cause we're gonna have to come back, clean that all up and, and throw a, a, some, some more weld on that. Uh, so I'm gonna get started and uh, I'll put you down right now and good talk and get to work. Wow, that was surprisingly easy actually. They could clean that off really well, really quickly. Uh, so I'm gonna keep going and you guys can watch. Grinder's starting to get kind of hot, so we're gonna give that a break. I'm gonna wipe everything down here and give everything that I have just brushed off a clean coat of black. Let's get started. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna throw this stuff on it, trim clad professional semi-gloss before any of you guys are like, oh, it's on an automotive paint. I don't care. It's budget friendly, that's what I like. Uh, and uh, it should keep it from rusting a little bit more. So I'm gonna throw that on there right now. Well guys, there it is, all finished up. Uh, at least this side of the cage uh, cleaned up, all with the black trim clad on it. Looks really good actually, Look, cleaned it up really well. Um, so I actually only got it done about half of what I wanted to get done today, um, but still quite a quite a good step in the right direction. That should keep anything from like that surface rust from coming back, uh, fingers crossed. But um, so I've actually got my eye on a set of uh, reconditioned fourth gen rods and uh, I'm hoping I'm probably gonna pick those up this week and uh, maybe some hyper pneumatic pistons uh, again fingers crossed we'll see uh, it really comes down to whether we can get it at the price we want so uh, please remember guys if you're looking for one of those shirts hit us up at howfast10 at gmail.com or on Instagram how underscore underscore fast don't forget to comment like subscribe and share and we'll catch you guys next time find out how fast we can make this car go